All right, hello and welcome to the updated video guide about installing Morrowind or Open Morrowind VR. Um, you know, there's a couple of questions that usually get asked and I'm going to try and address as many um, as possible that I've been going through. Um, I know that this solution works for most VR headsets. I only have access to the Oculus Quest 1 over uh, Oculus Link. So that's the only experience that I have um, people are just going to have to play test the way that they play test. Um, another thing that I'm just going to bring up or mention, I am not a developer on this project. I am not affiliated in any group that is currently modding or was modding or at one point in time, whatever, was modding Morrowind. Um, I am just going to show you how you can play uh, Open Morrowind VR um, in the easiest amount of time, in the, the quickest amount of time. Um, this is just a slightly updated guide with some more news, so it's a little bit more stable. There's been points in time where things have gone down, and that's because this is still being worked on. It's not done, um, and it's not a finished real product. This is just a mod that some people found in Skyrim VR, or r slash Skyrim VR, excuse me. And uh, I found out about it. I made a video. I've played around a lot with it, and I've spent a lot of time trying to get a handle on Morrowind. Um, when I did my first video, I really did not know as much about Morrowind as I thought. And so by just going back over these things, I've had really, really a, quite an appreciation for the game. Anyway, to get started, you're going to go to that uh, GitLab link that I provided, and you're going to want to make sure of two things before you click on anything to sort of download. And you're going to want to look over here for this type over here. And you're going to look for Open MWVR because the, this will change um, depending on some things. It will change in the future. So you want to make sure, and Coffee Beans pointed this out, that it says Open MWVR and not something like Refraction or, you know, there's a couple other terms or anything like that that just stereo friendly. Don't use any of the stereo friendly or any of the refractions. Only use Open Morrowind VR over here where my mouse is. And then for Windows computers, I don't know any solutions for any other operating systems, but for Windows computers, you go over to, um, what is it, right here. After finding Open MWVR, you find Windows, MS Build, Engine Release. That's where you're gonna download it. You're gonna download a uh, zip file that is called Artifacts. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get that zip file, put it in a safe spot. I've put it right over here on my desktop. And I'm just going to extract two artifacts. And I bring that over. Now this artifacts folder is, is, is kind of important. This is kind of like the hat on top of OpenMW that allows it to be in VR. And what you're going to do is you open it up and it's got this file structure. What you need to do is grab this file, right click on it, and you're going to want to extract these files right here. Don't extract them to their own separate folder, extract them to this same folder. And after you've done that, what you can do is you can run OpenMW Wizard, and you're going to, uh, first and foremost, you, you want to have already installed OpenMW. I don't think it's like a hard lock, but some of the changes that you make in OpenMW will affect the way that you run and you play Open, open Morrowind VR. Um, uh, mainly just the any file so be be cautious of that be aware of that sometimes i've been playing open morrowind switched over to the vr version and the any file has been changed um so just make sure that your settings are, are consistent um it's up for you to kind of version control that not all of the settings work in the same way um i've had some hard crashes when it comes down to uh, doing VR options for mirroring my screen now, but uh, who knows that might be fixed in the future or some people might have more problems with other things. Anyway, you're here in the wizard. Hit next. You uh, probably have already installed uh, Morrowind at this point in time and uh, you're going to want to click your existing uh, installation and then you can browse to wherever you find it or you can have multiple versions like I do. I know that this is the version that I use um, now that has all of my mods. English is okay. I can import the settings from Morrowind.ina and I'm okay with that because the last few times I've played Morrowind has been uh, the VR version. But uh, you might not want to import those settings if you've been playing, you know, regular open Morrowind, which you can get like really high resolutions and really far draw distances, etc. But that might not transfer well over to your VR game 
um, only because uh, it's a more intensive process for your computer. Anyway, after that, you can hit finish. Next up, you've got this Open Morrowind launcher, and that is the launcher client for Open uh, Morrowind VR. Um, you can open it up here. Usually runs as an administrator. That way it can control as much of the stuff as possible. But you can use this to select out your data files for your mods. Um, if you have any installed or if you don't have any installed, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you've got your graphical options and you're going to want to play around with that. I usually like play a lot lower spec and I try and, and save up, but um, it's a lot of testing. It's a lot of testing. Not every build you have the same settings or the same settings work. So just keep that in mind. Um, play around with it. Try and get something that works well for you. I've noticed that lower cells are better. Don't, don't, don't reach them out too far. Um, but there is a lot of uh, anti-aliasing problems with motion that isn't always uh, correctly recorded when I post a video about Open Morrowind VR. Anyway, um, Another thing is uh, weapon sheathing and uh, shield sheathing don't always look good. I know the weapon sheathing doesn't look particularly great. It looks great on the NPCs, but on you it has like a floating sheath that isn't attached to anything, so it's not necessarily best in my opinion. But until there's a way to turn that off in first person, um, it's not really worth it. Anyway, uh, you can modify your uh, swing speeds here. Um, I don't know what kind of range that these are divided at but we've got real height over here in meters so you can kind of fine tune that to your height um i don't typically mess with any of the other debug things other than just visuals and uh sometimes there's a few bug fixes that you know people like because it is open morrowind uh it is like a full version of that so you got to keep that in mind also when it comes down to you're playing open morrowind or you're playing morrowind vr um it's not it's got the controls similar to the Xbox version, but it's a bug-fixed, patched version of uh, of Morrowind. So not the same. The same exploits don't work. Um, exploits that work in Open Morrowind, though, will work in Open Morrowind VR, and I've been able to test that by you know going and min-maxing my alchemy skill and. Uh, basically just using creeper to make you know tens of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of septums excuse me anyway back to the point open morrowind launcher took a look at that it's pretty cool but it doesn't work when we hit play it's like open morrowind is not found um one way to fix that is by coming over here to open morrowind uh, underscore vr dot exe that's where i've been telling people to launch from and i'll be showing a video on how to successfully launch or what i mean by launching because i don't want because you're not supposed to double click on this it'll break it won't be able to launch mine will because my vr headset is ready right now but uh not a good idea right now not really what i want to be doing anyway but if we rename this to open morrowind without the underscore VR. Now, when we use the Open Morrowind launcher, uh, and if you hit play, it will launch correctly. So there were some people asking about that, and I was able to figure that out a little while ago. Um, yeah, to my knowledge, that's that's really about it. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time to play test it because I've been trying to do Skyrim VR. Um, just some personal thoughts about Open Morrowind VR. I really do love the game and uh it, it is really really dense and deep um there's a certain amount of it that just isn't there yet as a vr game um like the where i am at with skyrim vr is a much better experience um than open morrowind vr is open morrowind vr is really cool um and it's going to be awesome but right now uh just more things have to get ironed out um, I'll show a little footage of what I've recorded in Open Morrowind VR successfully, uh, but it's it's pretty cool. Um, you're able to go to like it, it is like one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, VR game, open world VR game that I have, other than Skyrim VR, which is comparable. I want to say I, I think that all of Tamriel Rebuilt, even though it's unfinished, is uh, you know in the modded version it doesn't necessarily have the same appeal or effect as uh skyrim vr does in my in my humble opinion 
only because uh, Skyrim VR is just gameplay wise, especially with the new Higgs mod, um, it's it's a much better experience than it was two years ago or whenever Skyrim VR first came out. And uh, the mods are finally catching up for Skyrim VR, thank goodness. But um, unfortunately for more Open Morrowind VR, like all of the mods are there. And, and if they work for Open Morrowind, they will work for Open Morrowind VR. Um, to my knowledge, I don't know how well. Um, for example, I feel like there's a couple of movement or inhibiting movement mods or user interface mods um, that just won't work at all like there's an open morrowind or there's a there's an open morrowind mod ui mod that makes it look like skyrim and uh, i don't think that that will play well with open morrowind vr at all um mainly because the uh the ui elements are pretty hard coded um there is a way to potentially manipulate them but the way i looked at it i was like i didn't necessarily want to like mess with that and not know how to fix it other than you know just deleting it and then grabbing it from GitLab again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to upload a video this weekend about uh, me playing Skyrim VR just through a little bit of Bleak Falls Barrow, only because I, I, I find that a little bit more entertaining. But I'm going to try and find some more room for uh, Open Morrowind VR now because I'm, I actually do really like the lore. Um, but when I first started making these videos, I knew nothing about Elder Scrolls and I knew nothing. I, I was a big Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4 fan. And uh, I didn't really play any Elder Scrolls games. And, I, and I, uh, I, I was doing this for a friend. I was making a little video for a friend and then it turned into like this 30 minute long video. And I was like, oh, okay, I want to upload it to YouTube, like actually do something with my account, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I've been really grateful. I'm really grateful for all the positive feedback, any kind of feedback that I've gotten. And I just want to say, like, thanks again for that. Um, but, you know, I, I, I felt really bad because I was making this stuff and people were making these jokes. And they were also talking about these other things about things I should check out. And it was like I only knew like the smallest sliver about Morrowind. So there were just some questions where I was just like, I don't know. I, I, I'm like a total noob. I was like, I don't really know who Vivek is. And then in the past month, while I've had some time in between uh, my studies, et cetera, I've been looking into this stuff and, I, and I've and i really kind of gotten a, to be a bigger part of the community or, or have a better understanding of the lore and the community to kind of talk about it, play the game, test out stuff and do it justice. Like now I, I can answer like deeper kind of questions about like how exactly these mods work um how these mods might work in relation to something like oblivion or new vegas or how some of these mods might work um you know even in the flat versions of them but uh it it, it was really an interesting process and i'm really grateful for it it's just some of the, one of these things that kind of crazy popped up so thanks again for watching um i'm hoping it was for the most part informative but i'm going to show some video footage of uh something else soon yeah thanks So when I talk about launching the, uh, when I actually talk about launching Morrowind VR, um, I'm talking about using a piece of software like the Oculus Virtual Desktop or any kind of software, pardon me, that, uh, you know, you can launch things from your VR headset. Like I'm in my Oculus apartment thing right now. Um, and that's where you will go into a file browser or in your, to your virtual desktop, and then you launch it this way. Eh, yeah, well, I'm wearing full adamantium armor. I didn't really cheat to get it. I just used all the, you know, glitches that I have. Yep. It's not so bad when you actually have like decent skills and you've trained up. Uh-oh. Yeah. It still crashes every once in a while, so just keep that in mind.